Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gino's Grooming Channel. Today, we're going to be doing a rounded poodle top knot with earmuffs. And I want to introduce you to one of my favorite, favorite poodles of all times. This is Phoebe. Phoebe and I have been working together uh, for over 10 years. So I've seen her become a very distinguished, a mature lady uh, over the years. Always a pleasure to work with her. So right now what I'm doing is fluffing out her top knot. So I usually dry a body about 80% and then I go to the head and I make sure I use a stand dryer and fluff up that top knot because if I don't, there will be curl in it. And then I go back and work on the body. Uh, so what we're going to do a little bit differently with Phoebe is we're not cutting out where a standard top knot is cut out on a poodle. We are going to do a rounded top knot kind of in a Bichon look. Okay, so that is what we're going to be doing for Phoebe. Now, this is uh, client requested, and I've been doing that for Phoebe for a while now, but it gives her a very soft look. So as working with all top knots, we're going to blend through the back. What I normally do, depending on how fancy of a top knot I'm working on, is I stop at a V that allows me to blend in the long top knot coat with the shorter body that we use with a clipper because with a long top knot there isn't a clipper uh, that is going to be long enough to do that work for us so we have to hand scissor okay now here i am setting that back part and i'm going to kind of set it and forget it uh, start working then on the front part as you'll see here and then meet in the middle constantly refining obviously poodle top knots especially hand scissoring does take a lot of refinements and finessing. It takes some patience and working over the lines um, to get that look, but we want to have it longer, right? We don't want every top knot that we work with to be very short. So just giving her a nice visor. And then here's where we shaved her face with a 10 in the typical poodle style, right? To the corner of the eye, the back corner. And even though I'm going to be doing the top knot a little more in a Bichon style, so a rounded ear style, I still am going to go tight here with that blend line where that top knot comes into the side of the face in front of the ear. And I'm going to use my thinning shears to blend that down. So we want that transition to go from longer coat right into a blend to that shave. Obviously, um, you're not going to go in directly into the shave. There's going to be a little bit of a transition, but you want to soften that up as much as possible. And that goes for every poodle top knot that you're working on making sure I give uh, really nice bright eyes, cutting safely by the eyes. And usually for the stop area, I will use my thinners. So I'm shaving a poodle with my 10 and I go close to the stop area, but I finish with my thinners. Now here is where we're gonna start doing that top knot. Again, I'm not cutting into the ears. I'm gonna do a nice rounded top knot for her blending into those ears and just to show you I'm scissoring in rows starting from the front to the back for my first pass then floofing up okay taking my comb constantly doing this floof and then going through and looking at the rows that I'm going to be working on I usually start with the rows that are more difficult for me so since I'm a righty I'll usually start on the right side of the pet on their right side and then keep working right to give a nice rounded uh, top knot shape even from looking from the top. Still floofing, okay, with my comb. You'll see me work on a lot of top knots. I'm constantly floofing because you want to raise that coat up and look at what needs to be cut. And you make your uh, modifications and cuts based on that puffing up. And you want to scissor anything that's out of place, making sure that you only use your thumb blade on your scissors. Okay, there we are looking from the side. We want to make sure that we look from all sides of the pet matching what we do on one side with the other side. There's the pretty girl. Okay, gonna show you guys really quickly that I do a little bit of an earmuff ear on her. Um, I start out by basically cutting out the shape. So I want a rounded edge. I don't go too much with my scissors in the front. I'll show you how I handle that um, a little bit later. Then I'm gonna make sure that the edges inside are not longer Okay, so we don't want anything sticking out from the bottom um, and make sure that that ear lays flat. Now I put a zero on my detail clippers on my wall Breveras, and see that while I'm edging, there was like that part that was kind of sticking out back there. What I'm doing is creating kind of a feathering effect 
with uh, the clipper and the attachment comb to give a really cute look. Guys, thank you so much for joining, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you soon.